today from Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Carolina Panthers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Las Vegas, Nevada. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of right now. You know, this is something you only see a handful of times in an NFL season where you've got a rookie quarterback versus a rookie quarterback. And I think a lot of that has to do with the era we're in now. Because our dads, they didn't see rookie quarterbacks go against each other. In fact, it could be two, three years before they even saw the playing field. Nowadays, you get drafted, they expect you to play earlier. And these guys as competitors... They'll take their lumps early, but they'd rather be on the field. And we are underway at Allegiant Stadium. Now Raheem Blackshear going to take this one out. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 20. Out of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Draw play, Madison. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Give them 12 yards that time at a Las Vegas first. That's a very nice game there. A confidence-building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. on first down O'Connell he's going to take a shot for the end zone and it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect they decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball but he was unable to get away from the defender couldn't create space couldn't uncover the end of the route and that one winds up incomplete now a second and ten they'll go Madison up the middle And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Now that's the kind of run that fires up an entire team. Tackled at the two-yard line for the defensive guys. A little bit of a sigh of relief, though, that they stopped him short of the goal line. Now they got to figure out how to shore up the rest of the defense. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Madison. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. It's a gain of a couple, and it'll be second and goal. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Throwing, O'Connell, and this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Jacoby Myers there to make the grab. And the Raiders take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. 
in this amount of time. I think it was a two-step deal. Boom. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. And taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-zip Vegas. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was all capped off by Jacoby Myers on the touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They had the fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. incomplete well fortunate to retain possession there and it's second down those are the ones you dream of as defenders i think if he gets eyes on the ball a little bit earlier he might come away with it instead it's going to wind up as just an incomplete pass a second down throw for young a fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. It's a gain of 34. There's the arm strength that we saw in college and during the scouting process, and really, it's not just the arm strength there, but the placement as well. To me, that was an excellent combination of arm talent and accuracy. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here is Young. A quick throw there is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. A give running right, it's Hubbard. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Five yards, now it's third and five. That's a nice run to get himself back on the horse after his fumble. Nothing spectacular, but a good confidence-building run. Third and five. Young. And that will be incomplete. 
Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. That's the first time he's called his own number. He's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. From the 35, here's second and three. Here's O'Connell. It gets it right back to Mayer. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. So first and 10 now from the 30. Now a give to Madison. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, They've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you've said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. 52 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Another carry now for Madison. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Throwing on second down. Here's O'Connell. And he wisely will throw that one away. 
So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. O'Connell working from the gun. Open, and it's Mayer in the end zone for the Raiders' touchdown. Nothing. They don't get nothing. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Raiders lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. That's two really excellent drives for them to start this ball game, both ending with touchdown passes. And big picture, they look great, don't they? Like a well-oiled machine right now. But let's down focus a little bit and talk about the guy calling the signals and throwing the passes. He is playing with precision right now, scanning the field and making excellent throws. Carlson on for the PAT. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. start on the ground with Hubbard. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the oh, nose of the nice. football, he's going to have a first down. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game, maybe establish the run? I think they're trying to do that. Now, I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Set, ready, yellow, 22. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. And that play went nowhere, losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. The play fake, now Young. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Raiders are going to have the football here at their own 35 yard line. They brought the house that time on the Young rookie, maybe a little round through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. The Raiders offense ready to go. 
It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they're almost pushing them to the brink, aren't they, partner? Almost to the point now where it's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you're just not supposed to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run. But for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Back to throw. O'Connell, pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is gonna have the Raiders first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end and he comes through for him picking up the first down. looking to throw on first and this is incomplete very lucky to get that one back that nearly picked it's second down now you've always been very good about checking my math am I correct that's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him yes he had caught every other ball coming his way so they feel like they've got something really good going there and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away well they finally made an adjustment there we'll see if they can build on that stop off the play fake, here's O'Connell. Throw right side, pulled in by Mayer. Broke through some contact, but unable to reach the 40. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Third and four. 60, 60, 60. Once again, O'Connell back to throw. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt, and that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. The Carolina offense about ready to go. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. Ready. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. 
Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm going to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Two yards, good enough for a first. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and three. Four yards the pickup, first down. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. Go. So first and 10 30. now from the 30. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he stopped immediately there. Max Crosby, the one who got in there for the stop. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it go. once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. On play action, Young. This will be caught by Brown. Call it a gain of six on the play, and now it's third and four. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game, but in this case, they made them pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Young. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Okay, First great. and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. 41 Mike, 41 Mike. Ready, go. Now Young. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. A great effort there with an acrobatic catch. And the Panthers have got it back to within a score. Boy, Charles, that's a great response drive from the rookie quarterback. Remember, threw the pick on the previous possession. Here, he's able to lead him down and throw it into the end zone for the touchdown. And I know from the draft analysis that this is exactly why this team wanted to take this young man. They thought his ability to bounce back from mistakes and quickly turn them into positives, that was something they wanted on their team, and we just saw evidence of it right there. This young man doesn't let anything get to him, and he finds a way to come back big. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to 7.
Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Tucker now to return it. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Raiders now set to get the football back. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely looking their chops. Everyone likes to run block if you're an offensive lineman. Nice early burst, nice gain, too. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Going to run with Madison again. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 75 yards here for Madison. He's got a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. On first and ten, it's O'Connell. Open man is Myers. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And now O'Connell, he finds Mayer here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 36 yards on the play. I can hear the film session right now. I can hear the coach saying to his team, guys, how does a guy that big get that open? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Imagine him as a kid just trying to play hide and seek. No chance. No chance. He no goes chance. to hide behind the skinny tree. You see the front, <laughs> the back, the top. Good luck. Yeah, you see him. You don't see the tree. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's a second and eight. <laughs> On the handoff, it's Madison. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers' 15-yard line. It's a gain of six. Moves him to a manageable third and two situation. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here as they've got it with a third down coming up. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. O'Connell to throw, third and short. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Now 
Now it's O'Connell. And that's going to be caught for a Raider oh, touchdown. Man, I see, I see over there. Harrison Bryant, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Raiders have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. That three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. Carlson now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to Nice play, man. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it winds up in six points for the Raiders. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Now the offense for the Panthers here, getting the football back. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Here we go. 52 blue. They go play action. Young. Oh, Johnson. Nice grab. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. That is one heck of a catch right there. Got his eye on it the whole way and able to make the grab one-handed. Very nicely done and for a nice chunk of yardage, too. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 46. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Brooks. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Ready up. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. <laughs> Young will set to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Hurry, hurry. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Young off the play fake. Got him in. It's Brown. And they'll lose yardage here. Knocked back to the 19-yard line. 
He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. A second and 11 from the 19. On the counter, this is Hubbard. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. No gain that time, but it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Young on third down. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. So Young will head to the sideline and on is Pinheiro for the Panther field goal. It'll be from the right hash and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early? and never gotten a chance to atone for it the rest of the game. That's a lot to carry around. After the field goal, on to kick it away is Pinheiro. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his third already in this first half, as he'll try again with a first down. O'Connell looking to throw it. He gets this to Devontae Adams. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Second down and three. Play action. Now O'Connell. And it's complete to Adams. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. Out of the shotgun, here's O'Connell. A short throw, and that's hauled in by Mayer. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, but when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Here's Madison running on first down. Down at the 25. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 25, here's a second and seven. 
Now O'Connell. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. throw here O'Connell this is caught touchdown Michael Mayer with his second touchdown here in this first half and the Raiders are able to stretch out their lead so whatever happened to rookie quarterback taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about what seven years four touchdown passes that's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. Wow. That time a six-play drive. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. start this drive out on the ground and brought down but not before reaching the 45 yard line 54 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills and it does it in so many different ways in this case you got a back who's quick and shifty can make moves make people miss but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down that's some of the benefits of that speed not just outrunning people in the secondary and that led to a really nice game the big play to start him out has him at the 45 already right back to Hubbard and this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. It's Young off play action. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. On third down, here's a run by Hubbard. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now here's Young. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down, here's a run with Hubbard. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Straight ahead with Hubbard. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route and he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Now back to throw. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now Young. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. You want to see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset? This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give-up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. On the give, this is Hubbard. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. He's had success on this drive, but not on this play. Finally, they bowed up defensively. I think they were determined not to let him take it pretty much all the way down the field. Yeah, it looks like they handled their run responsibilities correctly this time. When we call them run fits, everyone was in the right place. Young to throw it. And it's caught, and that's a touchdown, but hold on, there is a flag down on the field. We'll have to see what this is about. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points.
Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Pinero's extra point up and good. And the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. This offense returns to the fold along with running back Alexander Madison. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. First and ten. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Here's second and ten. Now Connell now to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Needed 10, he got nine. Fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. It's a 46-yard punt, two on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. Take a look at Deontay Johnson as this offense runs back out. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. It's Young on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. This second and four. They'll run a draw now with Hubbard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. 
Not a whole lot of room to maneuver there, and I think that's because everyone took care of their responsibilities, filled their gaps, held their place. No place for him to run. Yeah, it looked good. Everything got funneled to the nose tackle. They swallowed him up. This offense so far on third down, they've hit four of seven. Here it's third and three. They'll try and run for this with Hubbard. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know, that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it. Mm -hmm. How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Call it an even 40-yard punt, seven though on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. A good starting spot for the Raiders as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. They'll go Madison up the middle. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing O'Connell. Here's White, they set up the screen. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. down throw O'Connell open man is Tucker and he's got this down to the 35 17 yards on the catch and run it's a first down so many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground we can live with that but if you're going to give up 10 12 15 yards after the catch then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble First down, O'Connell, and that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Second and 10. Fakes the handoff, now O'Connell to throw. 
That's caught left side. Myers with it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 13-yard line. 23 yards to pick up there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Back to throw, O'Connell. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown, Raiders. Make a play ball, baby. And I've seen that. Devontae Adams from 13 yards out. And the Raiders will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Brandon, remind me again. This is a rookie quarterback we're seeing. A rookie indeed. I mean, because my eyes are telling me something I'm having trouble believing. Five touchdown passes. He's thrown five in this game. Are you kidding me? Carlson now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. The Panthers going to go back on offense here late in this first half. Charles, you're down multiple scores, less than a minute left here. But with that deficit, they've got to try to at least work their way into field goal range to try to muster something out of this drive. And I'm going to go ahead and date myself one more time because I'm going to quote an old Smokey and the Bandit lyric. They've got a long way to go and a short time to get there. But they still have time to get it done. So I'm looking forward to watching them mount this drive and see if they can get some points out of it. The first down throw for Young. He gets it left side to Johnson. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. First and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, there's something about narrowing it to a two-score game at half that makes it feel like much less of an obstacle. Open here, Adam Thielen. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Throwing. Young. Sanders has it over the middle. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now they got to get to the line quickly. To the air once more, Young. And down he goes. Brought down a Raider sack. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Third down and 13. 
looking to throw. Young over the middle complete. It's Brooks. And this won't be enough. A good secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. A good pickup, but it will come on what should be the final play in this first half. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, this Coach, one is thank maybe you very much. Not exactly in the bag yet, quarter, but there is definitely three. a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. The Raiders with the lead already, and they will get the football here as the second half is now underway. Tucker now to return it. This taken in right around the goal line. Escaping a tackler at the 25. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I liked what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And they go play action here with O'Connell. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But I think the Raiders are going to be able to hold on to it. Yes. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well and nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I'll guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. So they keep the football, but now face second and long. Running from the shotgun with Madison. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Now third down and very long. Here's O'Connell. He'll let this go for Adams. And got his man complete. And he will step out of bounds, but not before he's all the way across the 50. It's a big play there for Vegas. And even 40 yards. Another big play right there. And this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach. And that's a strong step towards getting it done. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now a give to Madison, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Here's second and seven. Oh, 
Off the play fake. Here's O'Connell. It's caught here by Adams. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 27-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Here's a give to Madison running right. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. Second and a couple. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives them a first and goal. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. 105 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's good hard running right there on first and goal. That gets him down to the two and puts a lot more pressure on that defense. From the two now, second and goal. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it, pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And they open the lead up now to 25. That time, a nine-play drive. And Devontae Adams able to finish things with a touchdown reception. the touchdown ready to kick it away is Carlson this taken in at the goal line and he brings this out past the 20 to the 24 let's go, let's go, let's go. the Panthers offense now they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half a CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession is an empty one. 
They tried to run it to the short side of the field. There just wasn't a whole lot of room to work with. Yeah, it seems like things just kept getting strung out towards the sideline, and he kept looking for a spot to dive up into the gap. There just wasn't one, so that turned into nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And no gain. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Young to throw it. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Ja'Korian Bennett has it, and the Raiders will take over possession here up at the 44. What did you see there, Charles, on that interception from the rookie? They've shown him certain looks on defense throughout the first half. And they pulled the string here in the second half because he got used to those looks and they showed the exact same thing but changed it up just a little bit where he thought something was open. And now with the change in defense, it no longer was. The Raiders have the ball back and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame, had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Troy Hill picks it, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Well, to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game, but that's something right there still in the third quarter. <laughs> It would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day, but they're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. handoff it's Hubbard and boy this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop isn't it but he's more than that this guy's nimble and quick more than a space eater he just made a great play there officially nothing on that last run they'll try again second and ten young That's to the sideline and incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here is Young. It's caught by Sanders. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively. And they stop him well short. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This from 54 yards away. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And they will remain well, well behind. Now 
Out comes Devontae Adams in the offense for their next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. Looking deep for Adams. And this is caught. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. It's a big play there for Vegas. 41 yards. Everything's been going right here in this one. This offense, they've been in complete control from the outset. And here's another big play. These kind of routes have been open all game long, and they continue to take advantage. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Looking to throw. O'Connell. Touchdown! Michael Mayer. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders just continue to roll. And Charles, they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again. Yes, yeah, multiple series now they've ended with him in the end zone. A perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close. Carlson on for the PAT. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it was finished off by a Michael Mayer touchdown grab. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here... This one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Well, a lot of ground left to make up, obviously. A lopsided contest, and we're already in the third quarter. And they won't get it all back in one play or one drive. That's cliche, but it's true, Charles. If they can just maybe get plays like that and get a little momentum built, they can get the scoreboard a little closer. And can you add some blinders to the cliche, meaning keep these guys from looking at the scoreboard because that doesn't help them at all right now. Their focus needs to be on finishing every drive with points and playing mistake-free football from here on out. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. 
They'll run with Hubbard. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, coaches stress their defense being physical. They don't just mean the big guys. How about the guys on the outside, the cornerbacks? It's not just their job to patrol the airspace. They can get involved in the run game as well. What do they have for this? Third and 11. To throw Young. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. And they'll run on first down with Hubbard. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Here's a second and nine now for the 29. Now Young. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. It'll be a loss of five there as the safety blitz winds up paying off. Well, a free safety blitz, that can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Young now. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brooks. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker, the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run for it. It's Hubbard. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Trying to hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done there, making sure he got the first down and not worrying about trying to get a touchdown. First down, they'll stay on the ground with Hubbard. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. So they can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good go. run stop go. by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And they'll go again here with Hubbard. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves them with third down and just a yard to go. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Heavy set out there on third and one. Ready, ready. A give up the middle, Hubbard. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. 
I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Here we go. Red, 38. Young. Flush to his right. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And the Raiders pick it up. And they get the football, but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven-yard line. He gives some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field. And he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. And now here come the Raiders. They'll take over deep in their own end after the fumble recovery as they start first and ten. recovery. O'Connell. This goes out wide from Madison. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Here's Madison running on first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over-pursuing, and making a very nice play. Now second and nine. Going to run with Madison again. And this is going to be a Raiders first down as he gets this up past the 30. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him where he said of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back and I just carry them along. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Off the play fake, O'Connell. He'll let this go for Adams. Oh, a leap and he will make the catch. 33 yards at a time. What a game he's having. They've not been able to stop him or even slow him down. He's got two touchdowns already. That could have been a third. He's got the secondary coach asking people for answers. Can you help me out? Because we are not slowing him down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now it's O'Connell. Throw left side, pulled in by Tucker. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. On the handoff, it's Madison. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Here 
second and seven. O'Connell working from the gun. Slant to Adams. Touchdown, Raiders. Devontae Adams, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Raiders go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And Raheem Blackshear now to return it. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. Okay, right. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Malcolm Koontz picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And keep in mind, in addition to the two sacks that he now has, CD, he's also had a couple of quarterback hurries. He's been very disruptive. To put it mildly, and it reminds me of the time I asked an offensive tackle who struggled like this in a game. Is he said he was telling the coach, hey, what do you want me to do? This guy's just eating me alive. And the coach finally just looked at him and said, applaud. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Ready. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Ready, ready. Young will set to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of the defense. Here's third and six. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That is caught. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final play is developed. That throw by Young incomplete. That incompletion brings us one snap closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Ready? Ready? 
Again, he'll drop to throw. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. This has obviously been a bad loss, but one of the few things they can still do is try and throw the ball all the way to the end zone and get some points on the board so they're not shut out over the final two quarters of this game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. They'll look to throw again. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 37. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Young from the shotgun. Got his man, it's Jonathan Mingo. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness is a premium for all of that now. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second down and one. Again, it's Young. He'll find Thielen working the middle. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Young working out of the gun. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. again his throw incomplete that incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere this team they've really been put through the ringer in this one another shot from the nine on second and goal the play fake now young it's complete to Brown, right side. Five yards that time on the completion, and now it's third and goal. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Third and goal, trying to make that scoreboard at least a little more respectable. They'll throw again. Young. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Deontay Johnson, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but, hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. It'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. Pinheiro's extra point up and good as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play.
Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. Fighting through at the 25. Pass midfield, look out. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Raiders. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Carlson now to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Young to throw it. He gets this one to Hubbard, complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Panther first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. First and 10, Young. That is incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Ready. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. This ball taken in here by Brooks. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 11 yards and a Panther first down. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. 
And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Ten more for him on that one. He's been a busy man. It's a first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Young on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. Touchdown, Panthers. A great play there. 41 yards. And the Panthers are able to at least get one score back. Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing it, a rookie catching it, and taking it into the end zone. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. As they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Tucker now to return it. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Don't give him nothing! Don't give him nothing! So out come the Raiders. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well if they really want to drive home this landslide victory. Yeah, we're certainly about to see just how aggressive they want to be here down the stretch. And what some coaches do is they try and meet it halfway, meaning they want to continue to run their offense, but they'll put in a lot of backups to do it and then tell the opposing coach, hey, I had to get them some work too. I can't just let them sit over on the sidelines all the time. They'll start on the ground with Madison. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second and eight. Here's a handoff out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. Going on the ground with Madison. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A gain of three. The Raiders on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This time they face a third and two. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 
The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. There's a beautiful throw there, and he's been sensational the entire game, moving it around, spreading it, hitting the right guys. And look, under normal situations, partner, I would expect him to come out of the game now. They've got it in hand. But you and I have been around this league a long time, and every time we ask head coaches about it, hey, why don't you take your quarterback out when the game's in hand? They just kind of give us that look like that's what he's paid to do. So it's a very unusual situation. I'd want him out. They tend to leave him in. Here's Madison. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 26. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. They'll try to get it on the ground with Madison. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Another carry now for Madison. Stays on his feet. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. now to throw this is caught and they are going to score again yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals well where our booth is here we can see all of the writers to our left and their post game stories charles they have been filed for some time because this game boy is it lopsided yeah we can see our guy scoop he's even got his fedora tipped over his face i think he's taking a nap now nothing left to write for him but how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good. They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Following the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Dig in, let's go! 
The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting okay, tomorrow. Ready? The first down throw for Young. And the Raiders have got him. Keep giving it to him. Come on, keep giving it to him. Let's Malcolm go. Koontz getting him once again his third sack of the afternoon. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Out of the gun, it's Young. That one into the hands of Thielen, complete. And he'll take this forward for about five as we have come upon the two-minute warning. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Young on third down. Ball well, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. And it's fielded at the 34. 43 yards on the punt, seven yard return. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. Oh, this defense, they wouldn't mind not seeing him again for a while. <laughs> Three trips to the end zone. How about that? I think right now they would happily go to their general manager and say, is there any way you could get a trade for him? Bring him over to our team so <laughs> we don't jerseys. have to cover him anymore? Because he is really having a heck of a ball game, isn't he? Boy, he is. I don't know that mid-game trade's going to happen, but good thought. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Going to begin the drive here with Madison. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it, and you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down, have to stop them, have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. Here's Madison getting it again on second. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Two yards, good enough for a first. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. They'll go Madison up the middle. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends and understandably so not only did they get the win but boy their offense was on fire in this ball game and partner i have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars what's the top gear you can get into this offense they certainly were there in this one huh everything clicking for them in this contest the kind of performance that they're going to cherish
So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. Celebration time tonight on the Strip as we say so long from Las Vegas.